These dust boots that Kubota puts on these uh, tie rod ends are pretty crappy. This one's you can see is dry rotted out. And so I, got, I want to replace it before it gets dirt and water in there and messes up this joint. Um, you can see right here, I've got a wire wrapped around here. And I'll post in the description a tool that you can use to tighten these wires up and make them uh, you know, really tight where they'll stay in place. But the ring that was on here got knocked off probably by a stick or something like that at some point. And so I had to put this on. And this allowed me to fix it without having to uh, take this all apart. But today, i got to take it apart to put this boot on. And I just thought I'd do a quick video and show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this. You wouldn't have this in place. You would have a, a ring on here. And you would just take a little screwdriver and get the edge started and spiral it off of there and push it back and so you could reuse it. I'm going to have to cut this off though. Before you get started, you want to turn your wheel out so that you get room to work on this. There's no reason to take the guard off. There's no reason to uh, pop your joint loose here. Um, you can just loosen it up right here and do all the work that you need right here without having to take any of this other apart. Now before you start, you want to get a good picture right here so you can count these threads and you want to know the orientation of this right here going into that. So get you a good picture. It's going to show that orientation and, and the number of threads here. And then just take a second and count them. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the top of a ridge right there. Okay, so now we're ready to bust that loose. Because if you don't count this, when you put it back, you're going to have to do a front end alignment on it. So next you're going to have to break this lock nut loose and it was very loose I haven't touched this up until this second all right and then we're just going to turn this until it falls out Now we've got to take this nut off. Just gonna put a little dab of oil on there. Make that a little easier. Now there's a little clip up in here. All right, that's got it all off of there. Now I cleaned off any dirty grease out here and cleaned these seals off. And now I just want to put back some grease. Fill that area back up. Now these are genuine Kubota dust boot here and it was expensive I think I paid like almost $30 for this little plastic cap here and then the rings were about $10 a piece oh, I got two of them anyway um, and you can apparently you can buy aftermarket uh, ones of these that I think probably would work just as well if not even better um, but anyway this is what we're going to use today now you want to get this ring on there first and the way you do that these rings can be kind of a pain but you just start and flip that first piece over and then work it just work your finger around it or a screwdriver to push it over to where you want it to go and just keep going all the way around see it's moved there but now I've got to get it up and out of the groove and behind there and you, you see you just push it you just push it over till you get it where you need it to be like that all right now we're going to slide this on Okay. 
Use that socket to shove that thing up. All right, I got that part in place now. And you just have to get a screwdriver under it and stretch it up and over like that. You think it's gonna rip, but it didn't, so. Okay, and then we'll work this piece on back here. That's got the dust cover on. Now we gotta put this ring on there. People hate these rings. They're not as hard as you think. All right, so just separate it out like that where you can get a hold of it. Just grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and pick it up and move it over like that. And you can get your needle nose and just keep going around like that. Just keep working this ring till you get it right there at the edge of your rubber. Okay, and that's got that ring on there now. I just had to slowly work it around with a screwdriver all the way over. To start it, I picked it up with a pair of needle nose and set it over there, and then took a screwdriver and worked it all the way around. So I've got those two clips on now. That's really the hardest part of this whole job, is getting those clips on there. All right, now we gotta get our lock nut back on. Now, if these aren't lining up, just turn your steering wheel until you get this to the right place where it'll start. Be sure you don't get this cross-threaded as you start it in there. So I've got my lock nut set right at the number of threads that I'm supposed to have. eight and a half. So I'm going to snug it up till that hits and then tighten the lock nut. Which looks like it's right there. <clears throat> I'll tighten that lock nut and count them one more time. It's a different orientation on that, but that just tells me that my count will be just a little bit different. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. So I'm right where I started from. Line that back out flat. My boot's changed and I'm ready to go. All right, so that's how you change this boot. Really wasn't that big of a deal. The hardest thing was getting this boot up on there. I was just afraid I was gonna tear it, but you just have to stretch it out and push it up on there. And then putting these rings on there. This is the same way you're gonna do these, this boot is on pretty much every Kubota tractor, so it's just if you've got a BX or MX or whatever you've got, most of them are going to have a boot just like this. Just order the boot that fits your tractor, and then the process will be exactly the same. You don't have to take this off in most cases. You don't have to take this off. Just loosen that up, and, and away you go. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.